Have you ever wondered which form of standard contract you should use or if you should invest in your own custom agreement? We'll answer that question right now. Let's get started. Hi everybody, my name is Alex Barthet with TheLeanZone.com. Today we're gonna to answer the question, should you use an off-the-shelf contract form or should you spend the time and money with a lawyer and have them draft one just for you. So let's start the analysis by talking about the major groups that have their own form of contract. So by far the most common is the AIA, American Institute of Architects. They have a series of documents for architects, for engineers, uh, for design build, for owners, for subcontractors, for general contractors. They run the gamut of the types of documents that they prepare. Now, these documents by the AIA and the rest of the groups of folks that we're going to talk about today are the types of documents that are created with consensus, meaning there's a group of people in a room and they have to decide who is going to benefit in each provision. Now understand, contracting generally is this idea of give and take. Someone's going to be the beneficiary of a contract term while someone else is going to be on the losing end of it. The goal is to try to have a fair contract that at the same time covers the issues that you need covered to benefit you. Now, let's get back to the AIA for a minute. So the AIA document, it's a great series of documents. They've come out with a, a recent set of revisions covering issues such as sustainability uh, and electronic records. But more importantly, understand that the AIA generally favors the architect and the owner over the contractor or the subcontractor. So the AIA is, a, is generally a, an industry standard fair document. Most people don't have a lot of heartburn when you mention you want to use an AIA document. Um, let's talk about some other form contract documents you can use. So the uh, AGC of America, Associated General Contractors, they have their own form of agreement, uh, series of agreements. Those are good and obviously they, they tend to skew in favor of the general contractor. Um, other forms of agreements include consensus docs. Consensus docs are a group of contract documents that were created after the AIA and AGC and they were intended to try to even further level the playing field. Now, in my experience, consensus docs typically favor the trade professional and contractor over the owner and the architect um, because most of the folks on the steering committee uh, seem to favor those types of uh, folks in industries. So we talked about three, AIA, form of agreement, uh, AGC, consensus docs. Let's take a deeper dive into some of the more nuanced trade organizations, which may benefit you if it applies to your trade. So if you're a subcontractor, for example, the American Subcontractors Association has a series of documents if you're a member uh, designed specifically to benefit subcontractors in the trades. If you are a design builder, a, the Design Build Institute of America has a series of form contract documents that are designed to benefit the design builder over the other parties in their agreements. If you're a construction manager, the Construction Management Association has a series of contract documents, again, all focused around the trade that they intend to serve. Um, and if you're an engineer, the uh, Engineers Joint Contract Document Committee has a series of documents as well, favoring the engineer uh, over the other parties that are listed in the contract documents. All in all, these are great documents to use. And if you're gonna pick one over the other, start by picking one based on a trade organization that supports your philosophies uh, and your industry. Um, now, you can use those agreements as a jumping off point to the negotiation. Uh, so you propose that. Maybe you have a lawyer help you modify that document to, to better suit your needs, but it's a great start. Um, now, we have some clients that come to us and say, that's all well and good, Alex, but I need something better tailored to what I do 
every day and the type of business and the contract relationship I intend to have with my client. Um, so we will draft a completely custom agreement for them uh, intended to protect them in almost every situation while at the same time uh, appearing fair and balanced on its face. Uh, so getting back to the question that started this discussion, which is better? It really depends on your needs and your budget. If you have the money and time to invest in getting a custom agreement, you're probably going to be best protected with uh, an agreement that was made just for you. However, if you're just starting uh, or if you want to use a document that probably isn't going to get anybody all too worked up, start with either the AIA or a contract form that comes from a trade organization that supports your industry. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email, alex at barthet.com. Find us on social media at The Lean Zone. And don't forget to download our app in the App Store. Until next time.